Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what phenytoin is, the history of phenytoin, how phenytoin works, side effects, and risk. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link at the top of our channel and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. This presentation is for educational purposes only. Any questions you have regarding your current medication, changes, or any level of treatment, please contact your physician for any medical advice. The Defeating Epilepsy Foundation provides only educational resources and will not provide any medical advice when it comes to medication or treatment. According to Mayo Clinic, phenytoin is an anticonvulsant that acts in brain tissue and is used to control seizure activity. It is also used to prevent or treat seizures that occur during brain surgery. Phenytoin is also known as Dilatin, Dilatin-125, dilatin infotams, and Phenetec. Phenytoin was first synthesized as a barbiturate derivative in 1908 by German professor Heinrich Blitz and resynthesized by an American chemist at the pharmaceutical company Park Davis in 1923. Park Davis discarded phenytoin for not having the typical sedative side effects many barbiturates have. In 1936, Phenytoin's anticonvulsive properties were identified by Putman and Merritt via an animal model, which was then tested on patients between 1937 to 1940. Phenytoin has been FDA approved in the United States for the treatment of epilepsy since 1939. According to the National Institute of Health, phenytoin is widely used to treat generalized tonic-clonic seizures, complex partial seizures, status epileptis, trigeminal neuralgia, and behavior disorders. Phenytoin works by blocking voltage-dependent membrane sodium channels that are responsible for increasing the action potential. It obstructs the positive feedback that sustains high-frequency repetitive firing, preventing the spread of the seizure focal point. According to Mayo Clinic, potential and common side effects that patients can experience on phenytoin are lack of coordination, mental fog and confusion, nervousness, slurred speech, trouble breathing, speaking or swallowing, unsteadiness, trembling, and problems with muscle control. There can be serious side effects when taking phenytoin. Call your doctor at once if you experience the following. Swollen or tender lymph nodes in neck, groin, or armpit. Allergic reactions such as rash, swelling, trouble breathing, trouble swallowing, swelling of hands, face, or mouth, fever or sores, blistering, redness, skin peeling, and red lesions, slow heartbeat, chest pain, dizziness, tiredness, loss of appetite, diarrhea, nausea and or vomiting, yellow skin or eyes, and dark urine or light stool. This is not an extensive list of side effects, and there are many rare or uncommon side effects to phenytoin. Phenytoin is primarily metabolized in the liver. Physicians will monitor liver enzyme levels to make sure damage does not occur. Using this medicine while pregnant increases the chance of the infant developing birth defects. Phenytoin can cause allergic reactions and or serious skin reactions. Do not stop using this medication suddenly. Talk to your doctor to slowly reduce the dosage. Phenytoin can temporarily reduce the number of white blood cells, increasing the risk of infection. It can also decrease platelet count, making it hard for blood to clot. This is not an extensive list. Please consult your doctor if you are experiencing other negative side effects. Phenytoin is an anticonvulsant that can be used to treat seizures, 
trigeminal neuralgia, and behavior disorders. Lack of coordination, nervousness, slurred speech, unsteadiness, and problems with muscle control are a few of the side effects that someone who takes phenytoin can experience. Consult with your doctor before making any changes to your treatment plan. To learn more about phenytoin, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.